happy holidays everyone uh, this is the time to celebrate it uh, with your loved ones and this is the time where we sometimes either spend too much time on our reef or uh, not enough in my case um, I was uh, quite uh, negligent um, about my aquarium but uh, now that you know, uh, part of the holidays are behind me. I'm gonna start spending a little bit more time cleaning things and uh, maintaining. But I wanted to uh, talk to you about the update on the Hydra 64s. So um, it has been, I published the previous video on November 3rd of 2019, and it's been almost two months uh, that I've been running. Uh, two uh, um, AI Hydras on the, my right um, that are the new ones, the 64, and the ones on the left are uh, Hydra 52s. Uh, they're both HD and um, I've tried to mimic the um, schedule from uh, the old uh, setup uh, and I've slightly tweaked it just uh, to um, kind of uh, appease me uh, in terms of uh, aesthetics and uh, I can tell you that throughout the day um, I didn't see much of a difference so if I'm walking past the tank I don't see you know any stark differences between the left and the right uh, part of the tank but um, I did not do anything more scientific about it I didn't check any par values I was just kind of going for roughly uh, the same wattage, uh, maybe a little bit lower, just because the new hydras are more powerful. Uh, but uh, what I was trying to figure out is, is the um, tank going to react uh, any differently to the new lights? Um, and would I see any anything in the coral coloration uh, that would be different? So, uh, long story short, I did not see any differences um, and definitely no negative differences. So, um, it goes to show you that if the rest of the parameters are stable and the tank is doing well, then if you will change your lighting and as long as you maintain your alkalinity and uh, calcium and uh, magnesium in you know, safe levels, spe specifically uh, alkalinity, then I don't think uh, you have much uh, to worry about. Just keep an eye on the nutrients and uh, uh, switching from one lighting to another usually should not uh, make uh, or break the tank. Having said that, um, I am going through a bit of an issue with some of my corals. Um, I've actually lost uh, uh, the colony on the left um, uh, or about to lose it. So this is the one that I uh, um, did a short video a few months ago. Like it's a very big favia that has been with me for a very long time and uh, it started to show some browning uh, in some parts of it and uh, over time I see now uh, the tissue um, receding and I'm pretty sure it's, it's gonna die. Uh, I can't think um, of anything really uh, that could be causing it. My husbandry hasn't changed, um, still and I'm doing the same water changes, everything. The only thing um, I know, th think of when um, you know I'm trying to think of a change is uh, I did switch salts um, a few months ago, so probably in the beginning of the summer. Um, so I was using Fritz uh, Pro, which you know was was all right. Um, I always preferred with crystals, uh, but I switched to Fritz because. Uh, there were some issues with uh, reef crystals in uh, Canada. Um, I couldn't get it uh, from my regular suppliers. And uh, when I switched, uh, I didn't quite like the residue that it was producing. It was even worse uh, than uh, reef crystals, which is a pretty dirty uh, salt. So right around that time, uh, Bulk Reef Supply did a number of videos talking about um, you know all the salts and comparing them and Tropic Marin was supposed to be the cleanest uh, salt and I've used it before so um, I was quite impressed with that uh, video and uh, I did go and buy a whole bunch of uh, buckets of salt that is uh, Tropic Marin Pro and roughly around that same time I started to experience um, some issues with uh, the corals that uh, I can't quite explain. 
Um, my parameters seem to be seem to be okay. I have not done any ICP testing, so can't really say whether I'm deficient in certain minerals or maybe there's too much of something else. Um, perhaps at some point I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to still go through my whole batch of uh, Tropic Marin. Uh, don't want to necessarily uh, point fingers to them, but that's the only variable for me, uh, something that I have departed from. And I've never experienced any problems like this uh, with my corals before. So to anybody who's had uh, trials and tribulations with corals, um, I think you will be able to relate. So speaking of two hydras on my left, I plan to update them um, probably tonight or tomorrow. Uh, switch to the new hydras, so everything is going to be the same. And uh, I'll probably tweak uh, my schedule, but I'll post this uh, new schedule uh, on Aquatic Log. So anybody who wants to download it, uh, they can. And uh, one last thing, all of your comments uh, that you post, I keep track of and I sometimes either answer in the comments uh, below or I um, will shoot another video. So it gives me an idea for what kind of videos uh, you want to see. So please uh, stay tuned. Um, I have a lot more um, thoughts on, on different subjects that I'd like to share. And uh, I appreciate uh, all of your comments and views and uh, happy, happy reefing and uh, uh, happy holidays. So thank you for watching.